and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brown for the Epic Cast Amazing episode of the Unboxing Authority Liver Beach YouTube channel. Today I am going to tell you all different kinds of ways how you can secure your phone against stingrays and fake cell towers, people trying to steal your information and track you everywhere you go. I'm going to try to put up animations and graphics for this so you're not just watching me and listening to me, but we're going to tell you how to protect yourself from fake cell towers, silent SMS and stingrays and silent apps being installed on your phone, all the different tricks they play. Cell phones are tracked and attacked in a couple different ways, okay? Cell companies track where your phone is by using three or more towers of triangulation, your GPS location, Google location services, Apple, Microsoft, Wi-Fi connection to improve coverage and to sell your information to the government, Amazon, Google, whoever. They use your Wi-Fi connection because they have kind of a good idea of where your Wi-Fi is they're like, hey, we got this guy's phone information and he's connected to this Wi-Fi, right? So like whenever he's con connected to this Wi-Fi, he's in this area and they're tracking your location. So even if they don't have your location, they say, oh, he connected to this Wi-Fi. Therefore, he has to be somewhere in this area. So that's one way they do that. Law enforcement, stalkers, hackers, and all kinds of criminals track your phone using cell phone stingrays, information from your cell provider, spyware, security, they get stingray too. Fix cell towers, silent SMS messages, silent app installation, and FEM2 cells. Those are different types of things that they use. And there's probably new technology that comes all the time. It doesn't matter because regardless of the new technology, I'm going to teach you guys how to get away from it completely. Your phones connect to these man-in-the-middle devices, stingrays or fake towers. And they can install apps silently to track you, get information, use silent messages or other methods to track not only you and your phone, but everyone else in the area, okay? And like on online communications, when hackers are trying to intercept uh, communications, it usually the tower tells you that it's the best place for it to connect. It's like, hey, that cell tower, no, that's that's a bad cell tower. I'm a better tower. You need to connect to me. And, and that's usually why your phone is going to connect to them instead of the real cell tower, okay? And and that's that's a problem. But there are ways to prevent a lot of this from happening and to know what's happening and to get away from it. These searches are a violation of privacy. Tracking many more innocent people than the guilty and give people the ability to track anyone for any reason. Kidnappers, rapists, drug dealers, pimps can use this technology as well. You guys have seen when the government decides to declare martial law and decides it's going to search everyone's homes in the city to find a criminal. Whoa, who gave them a warrant to search everyone's house in a city? Like, where is that? What what gives them a right to do that, to search everyone's house to find one person that's suspected of doing something wrong, right? So they're suspecting everyone of, of harboring this criminal. Well, that's basically what the cell phone stingray does. It suspects everybody of doing something wrong and gives everyone's information to the government, to the police, to whoever. And maybe you trust them with that information. Maybe you think it's great, but I tell you... There are people that just want to stalk people, that are after people, that just want to steal people's information and want to make people's lives miserable, assassins, whoever. No, they don't need your information, okay? Another method used to track you and your phone and listen to what you're saying is to use Google text-to-speech, right? Or some other service like that, a text-to-speech service. Because in Google services and Apple, Microsoft equivalents, because they're listening to you. I have a phone conversation with you. You're using a phone that's still connected to the system, that's still got Google or Apple or Microsoft and now when I'm talking to you they're listening to me they're saying hey Justin's phone number called us we, we know his phone number because I don't use an anonymous number but it can okay and then they say oh we know what Justin's saying what he's talking about now we can put ads on his computer we can listen to him, whatever right so if either phone has this text-to-speech software installed it's just going to listen to everything that you're saying or that I'm saying or whoever's talking to you and it's going to be sent. You know, you can have a degoogled phone like I do, but still talk to somebody else who doesn't. And their information, they, whatever you tell them, is going to get tracked. Today, we will talk about solutions. These services, such as Google services, do not seem necessary for the apps and phones to function. In fact, they seem to work just fine without them. The apps and Google and everybody will tell you, you got to have Google services or the apps won't work. But I've demonstrated in my previous video on Landry OS, which you can go and watch. It's like an hour long, but it's got an uh, index so you'll know, you know what to watch. That when I actually use apps that say they need Google services, that they'll run anyway, even though they tell me that I don't have the services installed. You can watch my video on the easy way to switch to Lineage OS to see what I'm talking about. So mobile data, Wi-Fi, Internet, Bluetooth, 
and any wireless communications can be used to collect information. Today we'll talk about two solutions to these problems on your mobile device and then we may talk about some other solutions later. One method is to live in a steel building where GPS location information does not reach your phone. You can disable Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, and GPS. If you're running a stock Google, Android OS, Apple, Microsoft, or other stock cell phone OS, then your phone will likely connect to Wi-Fi even when you have it turned off and continue to collect and send information. My old phone that just blew up that had the Google Android with Google in it and everything, I would turn off my Wi-Fi, it would still connect. Anytime I plug into my charger, uh, it would just decide it's going to look for Wi-Fi, uh, unplug it from my charger, anything I did, I'd move around, whatever, i got to find Wi-Fi and connect, even if I tell them not to. So you need a de-Googled smartphone, okay? You obviously can't trust any Apple phone or Microsoft phone, so you need a de-Googled uh, smartphone if you're going to have a smartphone. And, or some sort of open source. If you can go to the Free Software Foundation, find an open source smartphone that doesn't have, you know, if you don't mind not using the, the, the apps that are compatible with Android, if you don't mind not being, you know, using apps that are compatible with the devices and you want to use only free software, then go to the Free Software Foundation, get yourself an open source phone of some kind and use that. But if you can find a way to make and receive calls without using a phone at all, that's something I'm going to discuss later in this video. I'm going to tell you how you can make and receive calls without any kind of phone. I, I have to have some money to demonstrate that and show you how to do it, get the equipment for that. So, But we will talk about that later in this video. The next method is to detect the fake cell tower, stingrays, man-in-the-middle devices. So there's an app that used to be called AIMSICD, Android IMSI Catcher Detector. And since then, they've shortened the name of that to something like Android Catcher Detector or IMSI Catcher Detector. And I'm going to share two links with you in the description of the video, at least, to that app where it can still be found. Because apparently, it's been removed from a lot of places. It's hard to find the app now. So I'm going to get you a link to that. And the, this app is different than my previous video that I did on this app where I explained, you know, all the details and, and its interface. They've scaled it down a little bit. They've made it simpler. Here's what it can do. First of all, it starts out in learning mode where it's going to learn what towers you use for a short period of time. And you make sure all those towers are trusted. You need to make sure you know the location of those towers. You need to know that they're legitimate towers and put them in the whitelist in the app. Then you check tower information consistency. That's what the app can do. It will check LAC cell ID consistency. Check neighboring cell information, prevent silent app installations, and monitor uh, signal strength detects silent SMS. It can't prevent silent SMS, but it will detect it and detect FEM2 cells. So this is the thing. They can silently, the bad guys can silently install apps on your phone. They can send you silent SMS messages in order to track you, okay? And these are tools that they use to try to get you. This can prevent the silent app installations on your phone, at least prevent from being silent. It's a very good resource for that. It also uses the open cell ID database. You can find the location of each tower, its cell tower ID, and check with the FCC and your mobile carrier to make sure that they're real cell towers. You can also check their physical location. You can set the time for learning mode to run. One thing is if you change from like AT&T to T-Mobile or something like that, your phone may need to relearn the towers because in my case, my phone is only connected to the towers of the carrier that I'm using. I know there's other towers around here. I can see them. They're even in the open cell ID database. But my app doesn't know about those, at least as far as they're not on the whitelist, because it doesn't see them. It only sees the towers my phone is connecting to. Once the learning mode is over, if a new cell tower shows up, the app will alert you about the new tower. So you can shut off your phone, remove the battery, stick it in an RFID proof bag, or a metal container to avoid being tracked, but of course it could just be a new innocent tower. So you need to find out about that tower, find out if it's just a new tower in your area, or if it is something dangerous. And if it is, then in the past, the people that made the app, the you know, the way it was before, they said that you need to get rid of your phone, ditch your phone, destroy it, do something, replace it. And of course you can get unregistered SIMs as well. It lets you know if your phone was compromised. In the past, they would advise you to destroy the phone, throw it away, replace it but without having your old phone or new phone in the same location at the same time. Transfer information may also be dangerous. You have your old phone and it's it's been compromised. The government, whoever has the identity of it, they're tracking that phone. You decide you're going to get a new phone with an unregistered SIM. Never put those two phones together. The old phone needs to go away and the new phone needs to never be in the same location. That's what they're saying, okay? 
You can also purchase the unregistered SIM cards. However, cell service for unregistered SIM cards is usually more expensive. You can't keep your number and may have other issues. You need to use an anonymous payment method and other information to get it without giving out your real information. You have to use an anonymous address to get the SIM in the mail as well if it shows up in the mail. Unless you go to a store somewhere and purchase with cash or something, you purchase a SIM card at the store and that will work with the uh, the people you're trying to get the unregistered sim with so you go in the store you get you, there's a sim sitting there you pay for it and if it will work you know sometimes it won't sometimes they won't work that way now if you want to get one to two months of free cell phone service you can use the code i have for straight talk and you will get points towards one or two months of free service depending on how many of you sign up you can also use points to buy phones or other things so based upon what i read if the program's still true is straight talk the more of you that sign up the more chance that all of you are going to get two months of free service as opposed to one month. So if you share this video with your friends, tell them to use that code I have for Straight Talk, then after you sign up, you should get two months of service worth of points if enough people sign up. So that'll help us all out. Since we know that every phone and SIM has an ID, the phone has an ID, the SIM has an ID that is tracked and located by the cell towers, the best way to avoid being tracked is to use a mobile device to make and receive calls that does not have a SIM, a CDMA, or an ID of any kind that can be tracked by a cell tower. It doesn't connect to Wi-Fi, doesn't connect to anything. That's the kind of mobile device you need. This involves legally setting up your own tower and using an unregistered mobile device that will not communicate with the cell towers, just your tower only. You can use Digital encrypted communication. Again, there's no ID on this mobile device. It doesn't have an ID to identify itself. You can use digital encrypted communications, but that may cost more and take more time to set up. You can also use an encrypted communications. You can use unencrypted communications if you aren't worried about them being intercepted. One way to avoid signal interception is to use low power, a low power transmitter, so that the signal's radius is small. And the likelihood of someone else finding it and intercepting it decreases. Uh, the phone call happens at your tower and its location is given out. The, the tower's location is given out rather than your mobile device. But if your tower connects to a telephone network using a VPN that comes out in another country possibly uh, with a foreign phone number, then as far as anyone knows, your mobile device may be in another country, especially if you use enough VPN layers. Okay, you may experience latency, have less reliability depending on your connection, the number of VPN layers, and the VPN speeds, and, and all that sort of thing. But you can use a mobile device to make and receive calls, as far as I know. I talk to companies about this, and you, you have nothing to do with the towers, nothing to do with the existing tower system. The device you have has no cell ID unless you buy one that has a cell ID, so don't do that. Basically, you know, you don't have to worry about being tracked, at least from that aspect. So this allows you to be as far away from where the phone call takes place as your range will allow if you're gonna enhance your range and use an encrypted call. In order to demonstrate this for you, I've been told I'm gonna need uh, about $1,000 or more to get the equipment and show you how it's done. So if you guys wanna give me a donation, you gotta wanna help me out and tell me what the donation is for, and the links are in the description of the video, then I will be willing to purchase the hardware, set it up and show you guys how you can have a handheld mobile device that will work over telephone networks so you can use telephone numbers. You won't have to worry about being tracked by the cell towers from your mobile handheld device. If you try to use a VoIP app on your phone, which is another thing you might be thinking of doing, and go through a VPN, the ID of your phone and its location will still be logged by the towers around you and any stingrays in the area. Anytime you have a mobile phone with an ID, the location can be known regardless of what software you use on that phone. Unless you've got some sort of software that can change the hardware ID of your phone and the SIM number, whatever, and it's still going to work on the network. If, unless you've got an app that will do that for you, they're going to know where you are. They're going to be able to track that phone, that device. Even if you're using software in the phone to hide your location of the Internet, like you're using VPNs and all this to tunnel through the Internet, you're hiding your GPS location, that's fine, and you can also use a VoIP and go through a VPN to talk on the phone, but they're still going to know where your phone is or was uh, at the time that they're sending out their stingrays or using the cell towers to track it. That's why you got to use a mobile device that doesn't have an identification. With apps such as Fake Traveler, you can give out another GPS location 
that is other than your real location. And these apps work a lot better if your phone's been rooted. If your phone is rooted, if you get the Lineage OS phone, uh, which you find it in the description of the video, or another open source phone or something, and, and you find one of these apps that are compatible, of course, Lineage OS is going to be compatible. You use that, that link in the description of the video to go over my Lineage OS video. You don't even need to convert your phone over to Lineage OS. Okay, you don't even have to root your phone or anything. I've got a solution in my other video on how you can get a degooled phone without needing to know anything about how to install it on your phone. With the invisible app that's invisible with a Z, you can use Tor, I2P, and DNS Crypt at the same time to make your online location invisible. But the cell towers can still triangulate your phone's location unless you use your own tower and mobile device as I referred to earlier. So please help support this YouTube channel so I can buy the hardware I need and show you how it's done. You can find links to the app I talked about for tracking the stingrays and knowing, you know, your phone is compromised, as well as the degoogled link to us video in the description of this video. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay private. Stay away from all evildoers and don't let them kidnap you or your children or anyone that you know or care about who is innocent. Just stay safe, stay free, be independent of the kingdom of this world and be dependent upon God and stay away from all the wickedness of this world. We will follow the laws of God, then we come under his protection, which you can learn at christiancourts.com. We pray to God to make us completely independent of this world, and the world systems are completely dependent on him. So that he will put an end to wickedness, and we pray that the wicked will return back to him. We, we thank the Lord for that, but please check out christiancourts.com if you want to know how to live a life free from these issues. Okay, we want to live a life free and independent, that's what this is about. We don't want to be hooked into the, the phone system, the internet system, the, the tax system, the government systems, the nation systems, the Google system, any of that. We want to be completely free and independent to follow everywhere that proceeds the mouth of God in a place that God prescribes under God. That's that's what I want to do. I got to tell you guys from my previous video, they, they told me I was a guy named Lester from Grand Theft Auto. That's what I looked like, a fictional character. And I'm telling you, I am not Lester. From Grand Theft Auto, okay, that's not me. Even though I have this Lestomatic battery charger that charges about 42, 43 volts, I am not Lester from Grand Theft Auto. So, all right, well, thanks so much. God bless you. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. Wake up! The revolution has begun! It's time for an insurrection. Now you're playing with power. Super power. the game now what happens bonus and oh we get to see the credits okay i am the commander commander of the armies
里是中国总领馆，你有签证。Hello。这里是中国总领馆，你有签证问题，详细咨询请按七。Hello。你好，这里是中国总领馆，你有签证问题，详细咨询请按七。Hello。Let's rock and ride. Are you tired of trying to play optical DVDs on your cell phone, MP4 players, car stereos that don't have optical disc drives? Well, I've got the software for you. WinX Software. With WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, you can convert any DVD into any type of file for pretty much any device that you have and play it without having an optical drive on that device. All you need is a computer with a DVD drive, or you can buy an external DVD drive, and you'll have your files playing on your MP4 devices in no time. So what are you waiting for? Go down to the video description and get WinX DVD Ripper Platinum today.